Hello everybody, this is attempt number six at going live on, on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the, the problem is. Um, I think that maybe there are some problems with the YouTube servers. I, I really have no idea. Um, I, I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, anyway, I hope that you are all well. And I hope that you are all happy. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in, in, in Spain. Um, it's about 32 degrees, sunny, um, not too humid. It, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, well, I hope that, I hope that this, this live stream is, is here to stay. Um, so yes, hello to Estella in Argentina, hello to Nilofer, um, hello to Ukraine. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to read um, how to read the Cyrillic alphabet. I, I don't know what your name is. <laughs> um, hello to Kien. Um, yes, uh, I think that now this this is um, this is perfect. This stream. It's good. We're good. Uh, hello, Kim from Korea and Mario Mario uh, in Australia. Um, well, you know, uh, and, and Cynthia as well. Hello. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're running a bit late, but no problems because we're going to we're going to start strong and finish strong, uh, guys. Um, I thought that I would start the class today um, talking about the origins of some, of some English words. Um, learning, learning about the origins of words is, is one of my favorite things. Um, it's so interesting to learn where words come from and their original meanings and I think it's um, really fascinating. So yeah, we're going to talk about some, some word origins and some word meanings. Um, wow, it's, it's 39 degrees in Jordan. That, that is really hot. Wow. Um, so, uh, of course, we're going to start with, with, uh, with testing you because you're the students and you're the ones that have to do all the work. Okay, so um, I have a question for you. Helicopter. I think, I think that everybody knows what a helicopter is, but can any of you tell me what is the origin of this word helicopter? Okay, no googling, no googling, no cheating. Yes, anybody, do you have any idea about, um, about, about the word helicopter, where, where the word helicopter came from? Ah, okay, yes, uh, Sagan's victory in, in the cycling, no, in the cycling, yes, he was good. Okay, so Kim Thomas says it's helix plus cop plus third. Helix, okay, helix, probably helix, um, or it could be, it could be police, police. Like, uh, okay, like, like cop and police. So we're just, um, for, for people who are just joining this class, um, we, are, we are going to start this class talking about some word origins. Where did, where did words come from? Um, so some, uh, some people saying that there's no audio on the video. Um, any, anybody else experiencing this problem? Can you hear me? I assume you can hear me, okay. Um, well, actually, um, Helix, the video is mute. Nilofer says there's no sound. I think this is a, a local problem because some people can hear me and some people can't. I'm really sorry, you, maybe you should 
reopen your browser. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so this, this word helicopter, actually, it comes from Greek, okay, from two words in Greek, which is which is helico and perturb. <laughs> now, this seems crazy, right? This, this seems absolutely crazy. Um, helico and perturb. Okay, so helico, we, we understand. It's, it's a helix, right? Because, because it goes round and round and round. But perturb? What, 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 what is perturb? Well, this is the Greek, it means wing. Because um, the, the helicopter has wings, okay, wings, wings that go round and round and round. So, helicopter. Okay, so this is a bit strange, but now, what other word do we have in English with this? With the patern. Who can tell me another word in English with this? Who's, who's a good student? Who can tell me helicopter and what's another word with P T E R? Chapter. No, not chapter and not propeller either. I want you to think, think about dinosaurs. Mm. This, is, this is the key to this, okay? Dinosaurs. Think about dinosaurs. Uh, anybody? Anybody have any ideas? What is the relation between a helicopter and a dinosaur? Very nice, Finchy. Very nice. It is a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl. So now if we look at pterodactyl, we have our wing. And then we have dactyl, our fingers. Fingers. So, so basically, a pterodactyl is wing fingers, because if you look at the dinosaur, they're like, rawr, rawr. <laughs> this is, this is my, my pterodactyl impression. Uh, yeah, so, so pterodactyl, helicopter, fascinating, right? For me, fascinating. Okay. Um, I want to talk about, um, <laughs> I want to talk about one more word origin, okay? And to, 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 um, understand the origin of this word, we need to go back, we need to go back to North Africa, okay? During, during medieval times, okay? In North Africa. Now, there was a group of people in North Africa that were persecuted. Okay? Um, if, if you are persecuted, it means that people are trying to, to kill you or trying to, you know, trying to treat you badly. You are persecuted. And there was a small group of, of a, a religious minority in North Africa, who were persecuted. And the leader, the leader of this, of this group, of this minority group, was an intelligent man, a very clever man. And so he went to the top of a mountain and he took a castle. Okay? So, you have to remember, this is North Africa, in medieval times, and there's a group of a, a religious minority living in a castle on the top of a mountain. 
And the leader said, if you attack us, if, if you try to attack any of my people, then I will kill you and your leader. This is brutal, brutal times, okay? Medieval times. And so whenever, when a member of this minority was attacked or killed, then the leader of, of this group would send out a special operative. He would send out a secret agent, okay? And this secret agent would leave the castle... And this secret agent had a gold knife. Okay? It was very important that this secret agent had a gold knife. Okay? And so this secret agent, he would pretend to be a cook, or he would pretend to be a servant, or uh, he, would, he would get a job with the enemy, okay? He would, he would work for years and years inside the enemy, okay? And then one day, he would come out with his gold dagger, and he would kill the, the leader of the other people, okay? Now... The problem is that he had a gold dagger, okay, a gold knife, but also he would smoke marijuana. Okay, this is an important part of the story, that, that this guy, this person would smoke marijuana. Now, um, one, one name for, for, for uh, a type of marijuana in, in Arabic is, is hashish. Okay? So this, this, person, this person would have their gold knife and they would smoke hashish and then they would kill the person. Now, in Arabic, in informal Arabic, the name, the name for a person who smokes hashish is called a hashishin. And so these people, these, these secret agents who would, who would leave the castle to kill people were called Hashishin. And with time, this name transformed into Assassin. So, so basically... Very good, Kim Thomas. Very good. So basically, an assassin is basically a person who is smoking the hashish. <laughs> um, and originally, they were they were secret secret killers. Um, okay, so yes, um, today I had some technical problems. I have no idea why, but I could not connect to YouTube to start the live class. I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's, let's start with... Um, <laughs> don't worry, Mayela, nobody was assassinated. I was telling a story about um, some, some word origins. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I wanted to start with some dictation. Okay, so dictation is when I read to you and you have to type the words. Okay, so this, um, this is an intermediate dictation and the sentences are quite short. Okay, so I'm going to read the sentences and I want you to, to type, okay, to dictate into the comments. Okay, so... Are you ready, everybody? Are you ready to type? Okay. Here we go. <sighs> A resourceful young graduate decided to launch his own business. 
I'll repeat. A resourceful young graduate decided to launch his own business. Hmm. I don't know if you are fast typers or not, but um, it can be difficult to dictate, I know. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good, guys. Very good. So, don't know what's going on. It's a resourceful young graduate, not graduated. And Kim Thomas, Kim Thomas, full, if, if we make an adjective using full, for example, um, like um, playful or... Um, Playful or wonderful, you can see that um, it is always with one L. Okay? One L, not two. But otherwise, perfect. Uh, very good. Rick Barol, uh, Ippolito, almost. Uh, very good, Neil Afford. Okay? So, Maella. So, the word is resourceful. Okay? Oops. Ah. I need, I need to improve the quality of my writing. I'm very sorry about that. Resourceful, which means that you are full of resources. You are, um, you are, you have capacity to, to, to do things. Yeah? Uh, resourceful, okay, a resourceful young graduate. Very good, guys. Very good. Um, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, next sentence. Next sentence. Are you ready? The business did not progress very fast. The, bu <laughs> the business did not progress very fast. Hello, Luca. Do you want to say hello to the people? Come here. Look. Come here. Look, I'm married. What do you have? Say hello to everybody. Hello. Say hello. What's this? What is that? Ollie. Is it an octopus? Say hello, everybody. Say hello. Look, <laughs> Doritos and octopus. <laughs> okay, go on then. Off you go. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look. Okay, the business did not progress very fast. Excellent, guys. Mariam, Gabrielle, Milena, Pasquale. It's perfect. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent, guys. Dennis, Milena. Um. <laughs> yes, Mr. Stark, you can participate. Yes, you can. Uh, uh, very, very good. Okay, the next sentence. Next sentence. Are you ready? Um, um, he, he felt, not surprisingly, rather disappointed. He felt, not surprisingly, rather disappointed. Mm. Come on, guys, you can do this. Very good. He felt, not surprisingly, rather disappointed. Excellent. Very good, guys. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Excellent. Very good. And your, your spelling of disappointed is perfect. One S, two P's. Very nice, guys. I'm very impressed. Okay, nice, nice. Perfect. Okay, one S, two P's. Disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. Who can tell me?
Because you know that in English we have two forms of some adjectives. Not all adjectives, but some adjectives have two forms with ed or with ing. So disappointed and disappointing, they are the same adjective. So what's the difference between disappointed and disappointing? How can you how can you tell the difference between Okay, so top rack, so I am disappointed or something is disappointing. Okay, he felt not surprised. Disappointed is an adjective for a person and disappointing is for things that may let us down. Mm -hmm. Disappointed is the past, no. Okay, your class is disappointing, I'm disappointed at your class. Very good. So, so... Your, your descriptions are, are close, but, but, but not perfect. So I think, I think Benchy, Benchy has the, the best explanation, okay? So ED, okay, this talks about the result, okay? The result. So if something is very bad, then I am disappointed, okay? So... Something to, to be very careful is that this is ED, okay, but this is not the past tense, okay? This is absolutely not the past tense. This is just coincidence, okay? So, yes, this is the result. And disappointing is the, is the reason. Very good, Benchy. I like your, I like your explanation. So... This is the reason we feel disappointed. We feel disappointed because, because it was disappointing. And there are lots of adjectives like this. You know, like, um, um, <laughs> now I can't think of any. <laughs> um, ed -ing, um, <laughs> interesting, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Interesting, interested. Boring, bored, excited, uh, <laughs> embarrassed, embarrassing. See, you guys are the best. I would, I would love to have, uh, to have a real class with you guys. Um, so actually, see, um, stress, stressed is an example of, um, of, of, a, of something that breaks this rule. So we have um, stressed... Okay, but we do not have stressing, okay? It's stressful. And what is the reason? Why do we not have stressing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need to, I need to look at some... Okay, so... Um... Let's um let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. I um I wanted to play a very classic um a very classic British game with you, okay? Called Hangman. <clears throat> Do you know this game Hangman? Hangman is where um, somebody chooses a word, okay, and they they put they put the uh, okay. So let me just let me just, no no how do I okay um um sorry about that. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to choose a word, okay, and I'm going to each letter. Um, each letter, I'm, I'm going to put a mark on the board. So, let me think of the topic. Uh, okay. Oops. So, the word is an animal. Okay, it's an animal. And how many letters does it have? Okay. 
Okay, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has nine letters. Okay, it's um, it's a very European animal, very European animal. Okay, so now basically, you you give me some letters of the alphabet, and then we we will start to guess the word, and see if you can guess the word correctly. Why is this Hernie Clanders guy? Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, first comment is E. E. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Seriously? Rainless? Rainless Vitols? You are, you are like some type of... Rainus Vitols is some type of, I don't know, some type of psychic, psychic genius. How did you know that? Man! Porcupine. Porcupine. Now, <laughs> who knows what a porcupine is? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody have any ideas what this animal is? Can anybody, can anybody describe this animal, a porcupine? Uh, not familiar. Uh. <laughs> Pork. Okay, so uh, it's a pork with with a pine. Almost. Yes, exactly. It's it is it is like a big like a big rat. Exactly with with spines with with sticky spines. And um, yes, exactly. Very good. It's a small animal with lots of spines, and. Pork? A pork is like a pig, no. So it's like a little pig with, with, um, you know, spike. Now, honestly, I'm not sure of the difference between a porcupine and a hedgehog. Maybe they're different species. I don't know. Is anybody here an expert in hedgehogs or, or porcupines? Um... Please, um, please tell me if, um, yeah, if, uh, if anybody knows the difference between a porcupine and, and a hedgehog. Because uh, in, in Spanish as well, they have, um, they have, they have different names in Spanish. So I, I assume it's a different animal. If anybody here is an expert in hedgehogs or um, uh, porcupines, tell me. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I see that that you you are all very. Um, um, <laughs> I see that you are all very. You you are too. You, you, you're too good, guys. You're, you're excellent students. So I need to um, I need to, to choose a more difficult word for hangman. Uh, hedgehog is smaller. Okay, is is that the only difference? A hedgehog is smaller. Pff, I, I, um, hello, Ahmed. It's it's fantastic to to have you in class. Mm. Welcome. Uh, okay, um, more difficult. Uh, okay, so here we go. The hedgehog and the porcupine are two distinct species. They're not related. Ah. So basically, they both have spikes, but they're not absolutely not related. Thank you. Thank you, Lepka. Thank you, Kim Thomas. Okay. Um...
Okay. This one is more difficult. Okay. Um, this is a thing. Okay. It's an object. It's an object and you have this object in your office. Okay. In your office. So, who wants to give me a letter? Uh, okay, Milena says A. Milena says A. No, no A. So... Oh my god, Hernie Clanders. Uh, okay, so... Uh, a. Okay. Uh, Fanindra says T. No, no T. Okay, this is going to take... Uh, o. No O either. Uh, L. No L. Uh, Mayela says L. Um, e. Yes. Carlos and Washington say E. Yes, there's an E. Okay, two E's. Uh, an A. No, we already said A. No A. C. No, no C's. I'm, I'm going to kill this guy. This guy's going to be dead soon. Uh, o, no O's. The E's I've done. L, there's no L. No mailer. Mariam says I. Is that an I? I think it's an I. Or an L. I'm not sure, Mariam. Irina says R. Very good, Irina. Any ideas, guys? Any ideas? Ooh, Catherine says H. E. Uh, Kim Thomas, facsimile, no. Computer, no. Lepka, M, no. Uh, e, Daria says C. No, no I've already got a C. Natalia Cordova says S. Okay, now it's easy, guys. Does anybody know what this is? Scissors, no. Um, Latrell, no. No, it's not that. Uh, K and D. Does anybody know what the actual thing is? So many letters, guys. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> uh, no, it's not boobs. Not boobs. Not boobs either. Shredder. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, guys. So, Irina said Shredder. Um, Gabrielle says Shredder, like from Ninja Turtles. Um, Ricarbol as well. Irina, exactly. So, Shredder. What, what is a Shredder? Can anybody explain what a Shredder is? And this, this is from the verb to shred. Okay. To shred. Ah, very nice. To cut paper. Exactly. So there's there's a little bit of a difference between very good to destroy documents. So there's a difference between um, cut paper and shred paper. So cut, you know, when when I say cut, I have this idea of you know, um, of a clean, you know, of a clean line. But when I shred, it's like completely like hundreds, hundreds of scratches. It's totally destroyed. Okay. Um, and that's why in, in, in Ninja Turtles, in Ninja Turtles, do you remember Shredder, the bad guy Shredder? He had, um, he had like, Claws, right? Because I think he was he was a wolf or a rat. Was he a big rat? 
I think he was a rat. And so he would shred. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> Kim Thomas says that he can put shredded papers back to back back together. Well, um, this this would take a long time, a very long time. Um, the best thing to do is um, is to just burn them, and then they can never be put back together. Um, yes, Ahmed said that you can have shredded muscles. It's very true. Like you know, if you are very strong and and you if you have no fat. If you have no fat on your body, you're shredded because it's like somebody, it's like somebody scratched your, you have lines in your body and yeah, or shredded meat. Exactly. Shredded meat. Like if you take the meat and shred, um, well, um, unfortunately today's live class was, um, first I couldn't connect. I couldn't connect to the internet and, and yeah, and, and we've had some, 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 some idiots in the comments section being idiots. As Pasquale told me, um, the mother, the mother of, um, idiots is always pregnant, <laughs> which is my favorite new idiom. The mother of stupid people is always pregnant. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so um, unfortunately today's live class has been a bit, a bit strange for me. I couldn't find my rhythm. Oh, man. Um, anyway, this afternoon I'm working on, I'm working on a new class um, for, for you about, um, about motivation. And um, I would really like to see you all. Um, I would really like to see you all I on Instagram. I'd like to see you all in the Facebook group. Um, yeah, I'd like to see you all, um, you know, connecting with me on social media, you know, to produce some English. And also, you know, giving me ideas about what types of classes you would like to see. Um, so I'm working on some classes about, about motivation. And I'm working on some classes about... Um, um, about other parts of grammar, about expressing yourself, etc. Um, so, yes, a short class today because because of the te technical problems. I apologize. Um, and yeah, so I hope to see you offline on Facebook or on Instagram. And um, but for now, I have to go. So I'm Christian. This is Kangaroo English, and I'll see you in class. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.